Hello! And welcome to our channel! In today's video, we have a shocking and eye-opening story to share with you about a teenage girl who used a dangerous website on her computer behind her parents' back. This is a cautionary tale about the dangers of the internet and why it's important for parents to monitor their children's online activity. We highly recommend you stick around and watch the entire video to hear this scary story. Thank you for tuning in. Let's go! I wish this was a story that I could joke about afterwards, but it wasn't. And I truly regret trying it. And now I'm hoping I have enough time to explain why. My home is in a little town. In a small community, rumors travel quickly. The rumor was that there was this strange website called, Wish, where you could make a deep enough wish and it would be fulfilled, but at a cost. Kids, being kids, experimented with the site behind their parents' backs. Accidents in which someone is injured or killed, and the person who made the wish becomes obsessed with them before they disappear, as if they never existed. No one believed it, of course. Who would believe such a thing? It happened many years ago. However, parents have restrictions on some websites, and this was one of them. I wish my parents had done the same. I moved to this town when I was seven years old because my parents said it gave more work chances than the previous towns we had lived in. We moved again when I was 14, but I stayed in touch with several of my pals. And, like naive teenagers, they challenged me to visit that website. I didn't think it would affect anything, so I tried it and got a blank screen. My computer seemed to just have shut down for a quick moment before a weird green text window showed. The words your wish is my command were just over it. At the time, I assumed it was simply a cheap prank. Your wish is my order, really? It sounds like something out of an 80s horror film. It also appeared to be something out of it. As a result, I typed something dumb. I typed I wish for a new Xbox. I waited a few moments, and nothing happened. So I went to bed, believing it was all a big joke. The next day, my doorbell rang, and there was a package at my door, but no one was there, not even a mail carrier car. I picked up the box and locked the door before returning to my room. The surprise I had when I saw a brand new, never used Xbox. Later. My parents got home and told me about the accident last night, which was supposedly caused by a family returning home from buying their daughter's birthday presents. None of them survived. I had a horrible feeling. But I didn't believe they were connected at first. They couldn't possibly be. It had to have been some kind of coincidence. When I told my friends what had happened, they didn't believe me when I said it worked that my wish had been granted. The next time I used the site was when I had a strong desire to go back. I ignored the feeling for a while, especially when I remembered what happened the last time, the family that crashed. It was another bet, with my friends calling me chicken since they couldn't believe it worked the first time. They teased me about it for a few days, but then left it alone. The dare this time was massive, so I wished two of my pals to come visit. In reality, I should have explained or said something different. Again, nothing happened right away. After that, a few days passed. But I was worried about my friends because I hadn't heard from them since that day. But then I heard my doorbell ring early on a morning. My parents were already at work, so I opened the door then. Again, a package was outside, way bigger than the last time, and there was no one, not even a postal service car. I took it and carried it into the house. I couldn't lift it into my room since it was upstairs, and I wasn't sure I wouldn't fall trying to get it up there. As a result, I opened it in the living room. A terrible smell filled the room as soon as I cut open the tape sealing the package. I felt like throwing up right then and there. 
but I kept going. Panic flooding me as I opened the last flap and covered my mouth as I saw my two friends. Terrified looks on their faces, maggots crawling out of them as if they had been rotting for days, and dried blood covering them. I ran to the bathroom and threw up into the toilet, the stink following me there and now seemingly filling the house. I wiped my eyes and washed my face, staring into the mirror, hoping, just praying that it was all some crazy joke. I noticed a dark figure before I looked away from the mirror. But in my terrified state, I didn't understand it till later. I felt it necessary to visit to the site, to bring them back. But I knew right away that I didn't know what the site could do. And I'm not sure what monster I'd create if I wished that. I had no idea what to do with the bodies. So I dragged them to the garage and placed them in the car my parents had bought for me. What happened became a blur. I should have reported what happened to the police. But I felt forced to just hide what had happened. So, when no one was looking, I tossed the bodies into the lake. I felt numb when I drove home and again when I entered my room. I tried my hardest to forget what happened when my parents got back home. And I tried to forget about the dark shadow in the corner of my eye. It didn't take long for my parents to see the connection. They were smart people. They noticed the smell in the car, saw the box I had forgotten about in there, and heard about cops finding bodies in the lake. I was back on the website in no time, wishing for them to stay quiet about what had happened. Following then, the figure got closer. My normal condition was numbness and disassociation. My parents never spoke to me again after that. I never saw them again after that. However, I can smell them in their room. I ignored their employer's calls, which were likely about their not coming in. I also quit going to school, which was another wish I made. I can't really remember how many wishes I sent, but the figure appears everywhere. I just awoke from my short nap, and it's dark enough that I can't see the ground without my phone light. I don't believe I'm at home anymore. And the figure is standing by. I think I hear sirens coming, but I'm not sure. Everything is simultaneously too loud and too quiet. The only thing I can hear is my own heartbeat and the ringing in my ears. I doubt I have much more time. Do not visit that website. Don't even think it, and don't allow your worst enemies go there. You never know what will happen. Finally, knowing the creature's name will allow you to slow the figure down. Its name is... Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and share it with your friends. We'd love to hear your thoughts on the story, and if you have any suggestions or ideas for future videos let us know in the comments section. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell to stay up to date on all our future videos. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.